I'm so happy. Hi everyone, my name is Zatara and it is the, I forgot, but it is Amazon's tech festival. So I'm going to talk about my favorite tech of, well, 21, 2021, 2022, and just the favorite, my favorite tech products that I've gotten over the year. Um, but yeah, it is the tech must-haves festival. So we're going to be talking about some tech. The first thing I put on my list is one of my favorite things ever, and it is this right here. This is the Asus ROG, Orion, uh, Asus ROG Strix Orion, and basically this is a case for an M2 memory card. So you can pretty much, in this USB-C slot, plug in a USB-C and then plug this into your computer, and it acts as a um, kind of like an SSD. But this is an M.2 NMVE SSD that I have in here. Um, and you can get super fast transfer speeds. I read a lot of reviews where people are using this for PlayStation to save their games on because um, the read and write is so fast. This is a 2 terabyte uh, Samsung 970 Evo NMVE M.2. So this has a lot of memory in it. I actually have so many things on here. I have a lot of like YouTube videos, past streams that I've done. Pretty much everything I just upload to this little card because it's so portable. Uh, one thing I really like is, um, well, besides the portability, of course, um, it just works with everything. I can plug it into my iPad. I can plug it into my this computer. I've got a computer behind me I can plug it into. And then I also have my laptop as well. So you can plug this into pretty much anything. Um, two terabytes might be overkill, but I really like having two terabytes personally. Um, I have it set up to where when I do build a computer, I have pretty much a folder in here. So when I plug this into my PC, it has all the folders I need to start up my computer. So, um, I believe it's just called the startup folder, but pretty much it has everything that I personally like to use. So I might have like OBS on there so that I can have my stream set up. I might put like, uh, Windows isn't on here actually, but... I might put on like, uh, what's the web browser I've been using recently? Opera? Opera EX. I might use that. Um, and then some other things that I might need. Um, I actually turned OBS into a portable version. So the portable version OBS is in here with all of its folders and files that it needs to uh, just work right off the bat when I use it. So this is my number one favorite thing of this year. I know a lot of people are like, um, they they have like smaller SSD cards now that are really portable, but I honestly feel like this is a way better idea, especially if you just have an M2 and MVE um, laying around. I know a lot of people don't have them laying around, but I happen to have this M2 or this two terabyte M.2 and MVE uh, laying around, so I use this in here. I definitely don't regret it. I love this. This is my favorite, my favorite thing of 2021. And the next thing I have is my monitor, which you can see right here behind me. Um, my monitor behind me is the Samsung 49 inch. Actually, the one I have is the Neo G9. Uh, the one right in front of me, because I am using a computer on my streaming computer, which is on the other side. The one right in front of me is the normal Samsung Odyssey G9. Hey, David, how you doing today? Thank you, David. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I also have another one of my favorite tech items this year is the, uh, right here, I have the TC Helicon Vocal Effect um, Go XLR. I also have the Go XLR Mini, which I can show you. Let me just move my, uh, what do you call this? Milk tea? I'm just going to move my milk tea out of the way and maybe move my hairbrushes out of the way. And this is my desk. Wait, which camera is this? Oh, it's this camera. So if I zoom out a little, I actually wanna work on something. So my net, my desk is a little messy. I have cables right here cause I wanna set up another camera. I have a lot of cameras, but I wanna set up another camera 
and so I've got all the HDMI's on the floor. Please don't mind me, it's usually not this messy. Um, but right here I have the Go XLR Mini. This is my little uh, smart device thingy thing. I got these nice little, uh, these like help you find things if you lose them. I put one on my purse, one on my wallet, one on my AirPods. The desk is surprisingly compact. Yeah, so this is my streaming computer and it's very small. It's definitely not big at all. Um, you should see it though from another angle. Maybe I could set that up actually. Maybe I could set that up today. Oh, sorry, this is another camera view that I have. This is actually a webcam. Um, so it points like downwards. Um, but maybe I could set up like either a webcam or a, uh, another camera so that you guys can actually see my streaming setup. It is pretty compact, but I have so many like weird things hanging off of it that it looks kind of crazy. Um, oh, I already mentioned this because it is inside of this, but inside of here I have got my Samsung 970 Evo, uh, zoop, this one right here. Two terabyte and NVE M.2. You know what? I think they're cheaper now than they were on Black Friday because I bought like three of these on Black Friday and now I think they're way cheaper. So maybe I should have just waited, but I really like Samsung. I'm, I try not to be biased to a company, but I feel like recently Samsung has really been killing it lately. And I have been buying a lot of their products unintentionally. Yeah, they really are nice. So I know that there are so many options for NVE SSDs and I've been buying Samsung every single time. Um, they're actually really awesome. Just pretty much all NVE, M, uh, sorry, uh, M.2 NVE SSDs, uh, pretty much all of them, to be honest, are really amazing. Um, I remember when I was doing research on it, it said if you were to read and write on them every single second for eight years, it would die. That is if you're constantly reading and writing on it every single second for eight years. So even if you had this in a NAS server that is always on, or a server that is always on, reading and writing constantly, it should last you about eight years. Hopefully in eight years we'll have better memory by then, but still, I was like, that's pretty amazing. The likelihood of these dying is not very, not a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kelly, I appreciate that. The Samsung 970 Evo I have inside of my streaming PC. And then what else do I have here? Oh, my Samsung Odyssey G7, that's the wrong camera. So on the bottom, I have the Samsung G9 monitor. And then on the top, I have the Samsung Odyssey G7 monitor. Um, I have them like that because they both have the same curvature, which is the 1000R curve. And they stack perfectly on top of each other well, keeping that really nice curve. Both of them are 240 Hz monitors, which is honestly, I feel kind of guilty for having a 240 Hz monitor as the top monitor because having a monitor that fast, I feel like should be used for video gaming. And I am not using it. I'm not using that top monitor for video gaming at all. I usually just like watch Netflix on it while I play a game on my bottom monitor. So uh, I'm somewhat guilty of having that top monitor on top, but um, right. So my Mogami gold cables, you can't see them right now. That's why I need to set up another camera view. I'm going to skip those for now. Wait, is that all the tech that I added to here so far? Hold on. I'm going to add more things to my tech category because there's only 10 products in here and I have more things to talk about. A lot more things. Do 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 do. Um, doop doop doo. My skin is so itchy. I just put on makeup. I did a makeup stream just barely. Okay, the cam link is one of my favorite things ever. Oh yeah, the Elgato stream deck is a must. Kraken NZXT Z73 AIO cooler I really love. Let's see, go back. Sorry, I thought I already added all these, but I noticed recently my Amazon app has been glitching out on my uh, my phone. So kind of weird, but it's all right. We'll go there. We'll do this for now. If there's anything else I remember, I'll just add it later. 
<clears throat> is my nickname a terabyte? Yes, yeah, so my real name is Atera. Um, and my username for everything is a terabyte. I really like tech and I thought it was a clever name. A terra, a terabyte. I thought it was kind of cool. Oh, you know what? I could talk about the lights behind me. I really like talking about them. I am talking about some tech today. You know what? There's something actually really cool that I have been wanting to show people. Um, and it involves the iPad and my laptop. So I'm gonna have to go grab that. Let me put the Samsung NMVE SSD up there. Oh, you know what? Real fast. I'll talk about one of my favorite things that I use for streaming. And that is this Elgato Stream Deck right here. So pretty much when you see me like change things, I'm pressing a button here. So if I click this button, it shows you this scene. Uh, if I click this button, it goes to here. It's my webcam. If I click this button, it goes to my nicer camera. You like the lights? Yeah, I can talk about the lights. I really love talking about the lights. Hi, Jeff. How you doing today? Let me add the lights to the carousel down below so I can talk about them. So let's see. Where did you go? Where'd you go? I miss you so. Boop -ba -doop. There we go. And then go back. You know what? Hold on. I think I have more things to add. Uh, let's just leave it at this for now. Let's keep it simple. We'll add them as I remember. That, that makes it way easier for me to keep track of everything in my head. My morning is amazing. Hi, sir, Chris. It's kind of afternoon. It's 2 p.m., but still kind of morning for me. I took a nap. Oh my gosh, the new Pokemon game releases in three days. I need to buy it. Okay, so one of my favorite lights that I have is this light right here. You can kind of see it going up and down. It's this pole right there uh, behind my computer. That is the Govi Lyra floor lamp. Um, I put it on top of my PlayStation 5 box, but let's mess around with it i like to uh i like to mess around with these don't mind my fashion because uh i wear some weird clothes sometimes i really like fashion Alrighty, so i'm gonna mess around and change this lamp i'm scooting back a little bit because it helps with uh you being able to see the background with a different um focus point so i'm gonna go into the app this is the govi app you can't see it because it's so bright but you love my setup thank you so much i appreciate that so i'm going into here and i'm gonna click on the lyra light and we're gonna switch the colors for it because last night uh, i was messing around with it and i didn't like the color scheme so i kind of just switched it to something random you know what? i'm gonna turn down my phone's brightness just a little there we go it's 11 p.m for you today is thursday for you uh, so no goth outfit. <laughs> Wait, when am I supposed to wear a goth outfit? It's because you have an Android? Wait, what? I'm confused. No, you can call me whatever you like. Don't worry, Mike. So this one is called Marbles. I'm going to turn up the brightness to 100%. Right now it's at 7. A black dress? I actually wanted to buy a black dress. Maybe I should buy it. You're kind of making me feel like I need it. I have hardly any black clothes. I tried to, I tried to replace all of my black clothes with, uh, with brown. So I've got these brown fancy pants. <laughs> like I said, don't mind my fashion. I'm weird. I don't know how to explain it. Sometimes I just wear ridiculously weird clothes and I'm like, I love this. But no wonder people think I'm weird. <laughs> this isn't what people wear outside but then again i don't really go outside too often thank you so much for the follow jamie i appreciate that so you can see this one is called the block and you can see this lamp going up you know what i can have all my lights turn off except for that one hey google turn off all my lights this is gonna look sad sorry it looks like the wall light 
Okay, so the light that is turned on now. Is this Korean fashion? I guess it could be considered Korean fashion. What I find interesting about Korean fashion is they actually take fashion from everywhere else that isn't traditionally Korea. And like, so right now what's in fashion in Korea is um, European style clothing. European style clothing is like super popular right now in Korea, but it's like British clothing, like old British clothing from like the from like the 1800s is super popular in Korea right now. Um, I have a few outfits that are very British looking, but I don't know if I pull off collars very well and like a uh, button up. I, I don't, I really try hard to wear those, but I just don't know if they look good on me. <laughs> it, it's a, it's a good question, I guess. But, uh, so the Lyra lamp right here behind me, um, like I said, I've got the Govi app here and I've turned off all of my other lights so we can just focus on the one. You just turned off all my lights again. I'm sorry, Danny. <laughs> That's funny. Hey Google, turn on my lights. Ooh, it's so much prettier in here with the lights on. But the Lyra light, I really like a lot. I feel like it adds a lot of color to my room. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. My other favorite lights are of course the lights on my bookshelf right here. So these are the Govi Glide lights. I have to check them or I have to touch them. Um, how much does Amazon pay you to do this? I actually get commissions. So if, for example, um, if I sell something, like, so if I sell Govi Glide Lights or you guys buy it, then I think I get like, I think it's like 3%. It's not a lot, but honestly, I like the, uh, what do you call it? I like the, what do you, <laughs> I like the community a lot more than Twitch. So I have been streaming on Twitch for 10 years. Uh, this will be the 11th year and 2022 is 11 years on Twitch. So I've been streaming a really long time on Twitch and the community just isn't as nice or positive, especially for blonde females such as myself. Twitch doesn't really seem to like the ladies, which is understandable due to current events, but I like how Amazon, the community is a lot nicer. And I really love talking. I used to work at GameStop for five years and Pretty much talking about tech and video games was all I did for five years. It was amazing. I loved it. Your name is Amazon customer though. Um, we can conversate about anything with her. She doesn't mind. Yeah, if you have questions about the products, I would love to do go in depth and talk about them. If you have personal questions about me, I don't mind answering anything. If you have questions about why I live in South Korea, I talk about that all the time. I don't mind answering why I live in Korea. Um, if you have questions about anything, let me know. I might know some of it. I don't know everything. If you ask me about thermodynamics, I only know the basics of that. I can't get really in depth, so. <laughs> so like, keep that in mind. Um. Well, more up to date on tech, maybe games too. I don't know. I haven't been as up, uh, up to date on video games since I kind of left GameStop. But at the same time, I feel like there hasn't been a lot of uh, good video games that have released lately. Like I am extremely um, excited for the new Pokemon Arceus to release in three days. Like that game is one that I'm super excited for. I know I've t I talk a lot of crap on Pokemon. I'm just a really big fan of Pokemon. And sometimes you just talk a lot of crap on stuff that you love the most. And I love Pokemon. So I feel like they could have done better Pokemon animations. But I still love it. <laughs> have a good night, Amazon customer. Keyboards. I have a couple keyboards. So this is my desk view here. Um, this keyboard I have is the Corsair keyboard. This one's really nice. My keyboard that I use for gaming is actually behind me. It is the Razer Huntsman keyboard. 
Um, I have made a 60% keyboard, but I don't use it. It's a little harder to get used to. I do want to get a new 60% keyboard in the future, but I don't know when I will. Uh, what do you think about... Lo wait. Long J4 and the current state of code injection? Did one box of Govi lights work for the entire bookshelf behind you? No, I actually had to get three boxes. So this one, the top one, is one box. This is two boxes and three boxes. So if I got a fourth box, I would have to, I would have them all done up. I am not completely fluent in Korean, but I am at an advanced level. Um, taking this seriously and asking product related questions or having normal conversations, not nicknaming her. Oh, I see what you mean. A lot of people give me nicknames. I have been getting nicknames since I was like in elementary school. So I, I don't mind if you give me a nickname. Some people used to call me Blueberry. Some people call me Silver. Cause a long time ago, my very first, my very first, uh, what do you call it? Um, so right now my username is a terabyte. Uh, cause my real name is a Terra. And so I thought a terabyte, a Terra, that sounds really cool. Sounds like a memory card amount. But, um, when, uh, my very first username was binary for AG, which is silver on the periodic table of elements. So a lot of people would just call me silver for a really long time. A lot of people just called me silver. So I just always get really weird nicknames all the time. But yeah. Um, what else was I going to talk about? I think we already talked about the Elgato Stream Deck on here. The NZXT Kraken Z73 AIO Cooler is over here inside of my computer. I'm going to move my camera so you can see my computer a little more. Let's move this over. Let's move my mic over. And let me slide back. So this is my computer. Um, inside of my computer, I have... A, what is it? I'm forgetting the specs of my own PC now. It's been so long since I've talked about my computer. Let me think. I've got a uh, Intel. Oh, it's an i9-10900K. Um, I've got 128 gigabytes of RAM, which is pretty much overkill, but I don't know why I did that, to be honest. I just have a lot of RAM um, at 3600 megahertz and then i've got a 3090 gpu which is also overkill the only reason why i got the 3090 is because it was on sale it was on sale i had the chance to get it and i was like i actually really wanted a 3080 but it's so hard to get gpus that when i saw a 3090 that i could buy i just bought it right away without thinking so i have a 3090 asus tough my motherboard is the asus maximus um formula edition asus maximus 12 formula edition you can't see it from here but it has a little gif of my name and it flashes a terabyte right there all the lights inside of my pc build are the nzxt um rgb fans they're really silent they're really nice these two fans are actually just really cheap fans that i bought um just because i wanted some what do you call it i wanted the air to expel out of my pc am i englishing properly yeah, I wanted it to leave the computer because right now all of these fans are sucking air into my computer and then I don't have any flow outwards. So these two push the air behind my monitor. Let me get closer to chat so I can read it. Anyway, so that's all about my computer. I have this computer to play Minecraft. Yes, that is actually a fact. Um... What is my full-time job? I am a streamer these days now. I don't work in Korea. My Okay, so the reason why I wanted to move to Korea is my dream was to work in esports. I really love StarCraft. StarCraft was one of my favorite games and I always wanted to work in esports, either being like a team manager, uh, a commentator, um, anything like that. Even running the people coffee. I always really wanted to work in esports. So I moved to Korea. I studied Korean and then COVID happened. So I don't think I'll ever be able to work in esports, but I feel like I learned a lot from this experience. <laughs> I feel like I learned a lot from moving to Korea.
Shame most games just... Well, don't do it. <laughs> I mean... I play a lot of Satisfactory on there as well. My cousin runs Overwatch Esports production team. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. I went, uh, so when I went to visit Las Vegas last, this, last year, in 2021, I visited Las Vegas and I, they gave me a tour of the esports arena in Las Vegas that's inside the Luxor. It was really awesome. I made some friends there. They were super nice and it was a great time. I really, I really enjoyed it. Um, right now, because of COVID, uh, pretty much all esports is kind of shut down in Korea. They might still have events but they don't allow anyone to come in. Why are you 5k and I'll get you an internship? I don't have a lot of money that I can spend because I am a poor girl, but I'm really good at saving money. <laughs> so like I said, when I moved to move to Korea, I saved up $20,000 of my own money. Uh, my parents have no money whatsoever. They have, negative money they're in a lot of debt and so um i couldn't just like ask my parents to help me with moving to korea so um i just had to save up my own money in order to move here it took me a long time it took me a lot of years but i did it i saving money is my superpower but i've been like that ever since i was a kid though to be honest so i remember even when i was a kid uh my parents uh, sometimes they would give us like $10 or $20 to go play at the arcade machines and I would instead save my $20 and then watch my siblings play at the arcade machines. <laughs> it was funny. Do I like it in Korea? Korea is so-so. Korea is alright. I think if you're not Korean, it's hard. They definitely like Koreans in Korea. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> they might not even like Koreans in Korea. <laughs> hey, how you doing today? Oh, I have this headset, the JBL Quantum 800s. It's way over here, so I'm gonna go grab it. Zoom. Don't mind me breaking everything on my way to grab my headset. Why are you so difficult? There we go. So these are my JBL Quantum 800s. They're, uh, at first I was kind of like worried about getting them because they are made out of plastic and that just doesn't seem like a good idea for headphones, but they're actually quite sturdy. They're actually really nice. Um, I have them connected to that computer. I have two computers in this room. So there's the computer I'm looking at right now to stream and then the computer behind me, which is my gaming computer. I mean, I guess I also have a laptop which is right over there. So maybe you can count that as three computers in this room. But um, these are the Quantum 800s. They're on sale right now, which is pretty cool. But I really like them. Like I said, was really worried about them being in plastic, but I just picked up the book. I can English. What is this? I just barely discovered this. Uh, it randomly popped up and I was like, what is this? So this is Amazon live streaming. I was the very first Amazon live streamer ever. Um, I started streaming on Amazon Live two years ago. I've been streaming on Twitch for 11 years now, and I've been streaming a lot, and I'm old, so yeah. Maybe I shouldn't mention that I streamed on Twitch for 10 years. Maybe I can just like null and void that part so I don't feel old every time I say it. <laughs> Yeah, so basically the reason why I like streaming on Amazon is because it's um it's very similar to when I worked at GameStop. So I worked at GameStop for five years and um <laughs> new start, new life. Exactly. I worked at GameStop for five years and um my favorite thing about working at GameStop was helping people, answering questions, recommending video games, recommending products to people. I love that stuff. I loved working Black Friday. That was my favorite day to work at GameStop. Um, and pretty much Amazon Live is the same thing, just virtually. So now I can talk about products, talk about games, talk about computers from the comfort of my own computer room instead of being behind a desk at GameStop, which is pretty awesome. 
I don't know how much my computer costs, to be honest. Yeah, Amazon live streaming has been around for two years. And my name is Zatera, by the way. <laughs> my my username is called my username is a terabyte, and my name is a terra. 5k plus with the 3090? Holy cow. Aren't 3090s like I got my 3090 at retail price, thank goodness, but aren't they worth like so much now? Yeah, it's pretty late in the US, so it's 2.20 p.m. for me here in Korea, but in the USA it is very late. What is my favorite video game? Um, so growing up, I'm a lucky girl. Growing up, my dad owned a video game store, so I got to play every single console, every game I ever wanted to play whenever I wanted to play it. So I have pretty much a favorite game on every single console. I would say, um, if I have to think about what my favorite game, video game would be in regards to like nostalgia, I would say uh, a game called Time Stalkers on the Dreamcast was one of my absolute favorite games growing up. I loved Time Stalkers on the Dreamcast. That was, that was like my favorite game. I loved that game. Um, I have not owned a Dreamcast. I don't think ever, to be honest, because when my dad owned a video game store, I never kept any of the consoles. I would just go to my dad's store and be like, hey, dad, I'm going to borrow this Xbox and Halo. Okay, bye. And then just leave and then play it and then give it back to him when I beat Halo. So, um, yeah, I think for the longest time, the only consoles I owned was like a Nintendo DS and pretty much all the Nintendo handhelds we owned. And then my family always had like the Wii in the living room. Uh, I, I prefer solo games personally. So some of my favorite games are like Fallout New Vegas, Bioshock, um, of course Skyrim. <laughs> solo is no friends. Okay, you might be right about that. I have friends. I just really like to, I, so, <laughs> So like when I was in high school, I remember I would like text my mom to ask my mom to call me to pretend to be mad and tell me I was grounded so that I could go home and play games instead of hanging out with my friends. Cause my friends would like kind of peer pressure me and be like, oh, let's go outside and go hiking or let's go ice blocking. And I would just be like, mom, please tell, tell me I'm grounded so I can Go home. <laughs> and then, but when I got in trouble, uh, my mom would ground me outside. And that was the worst. <laughs> my, my fault, don't make me feel bad. No, I have friends, I swear. I swear I have some friends. At least a couple. But, um, yes. The, the moral of the story is, uh, that's peer pressure? That's peer pressure for me. <laughs> Peer pressure is leaving my house. <laughs> it's the great outdoors. As a teenager, I didn't like going outside very often. I actually really like hiking a lot now that I'm older. I So I've lived in Utah my whole life and I've only been to Zion twice, which is pretty much my backyard. I've never, oh, I went to just the last year in 2021, I went to the arches of Utah. Because I've lived there my entire life and never saw the Utah Arches, which is like what Utah is known for. So, um, I finally did that. It was awesome. It was actually really amazing. Am I still going... Wait, are you still trying to break into esports? Am I still trying to break into esports? Not so much anymore. I think, um, right now I'm in Korea and I'm in a position where, uh, it's hard for me, like, I know that I can do so much. Like, I know that I should be making YouTube videos. I should be streaming more. I could be doing more stuff. Um, and I could be trying harder to get into esports, but I'm in this position where I also can't. And it's due to what's a really complicated situation here in South Korea, but um, I'm kind of scared to grow right now. So I want to like stay laying low. I want to make sure I don't get a lot of followers just lay low for a while and then hopefully i'm hopefully when i move from south korea um i will pick up the pace a little bit and 
start doing stuff that I know that I should do and I should be doing, but I can't. Exactly, yeah, I did a few TikTok videos, but like I said, there's whole shenanigans going on in South Korea where I just don't feel comfortable uh, growing my presence on the internet yet. Not in this country, not in this country. When I move away from Korea, I think I would love to do a lot more and try and grow. But yeah, as of for right now, no, no. I gotta stay small. I um, recently got LaCroix, they're pretty good actually. Um, What is it that I wanted to show you guys? I wanted to show you this really cool thing that I recently discovered. <laughs> the horror stories I heard. It's good water, it really is. It's pretty good water. Normally I just drink water, but this is way more interesting. Um, so in order to set this up, I need to first clean off my table because it's a mess. So I'm gonna clean that real fast. I'm still here though, so you can still hear my voice and everything. I just have to clean off the my display table. I was organizing my room the other day and kind of messed it up a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. But it's not too bad. I'll get this cleaned up in like a second. Oh, you wanna see what's so cool? My dad, for my birthday, or not my birthday, for Christmas, he bought me this bag of sensu beans. Isn't that cute? My dad is the sweetest. My dad calls me like every day to tell me how much further he is in Pokemon than me and that I need to catch up. And then he bought me these sensu beans. <laughs> he shipped them all the way from the USA. That was really sweet. Okay, now I gotta move all these cables that are randomly on the floor. Display table! Ba -da -da -da. Okay, let's get this displayed. Also, good news, I bought some more Pokemon cards. So we can do some more Pokemon card openings. I bought um, some packs of 25th anniversary Pokemon cards. So I'll be able to open those whenever those deliver. Yeah, it really is, Nick. It's kind of scary. So, um, let me grab my handy dandy stream deck. So here's my table. And I wanted to show you something cool that I discovered. <clears throat> so here is my iPad. Maybe I should zoom out a little bit. I'll zoom out in a second. Let me turn on my iPad. Let me turn on my, uh, <laughs> everything is pink. I really like pink a lot. <laughs> Do you like my little, my little typewriter here? Okay, I'm gonna zoom out just a tad. Zoom. Whew, there's like hair in my eye. Okay, let's see here. Let's turn on this iPad. And let's go to Luna. Boop. So this is my iPad. This is my not iPad. <laughs> this is my Samsung laptop. Exit. Exit again. So I have this little device that turns my iPad into a second screen for my Samsung monitor, which is so, or for, sorry, for my Samsung laptop. So if I get my little handy dandy cursor out here, I can show ya. What should I open up? Photoshop. Yeah, Photoshop, let's go. The eye typewriter, it's so cute. What's cool is I can Bluetooth this uh, typewriter to my streaming PC, my other PC, all my PCs, every PC, and I can switch between them by click clicking this. I can also switch between Korean and English right here too. So this is probably my favorite thing about this is so I can start, let's just start a new file and then I can create this. And then I can pull this over here to my iPad 
And then on my iPad, I can go to brush, grab my iPen thingy thing. And then I can draw. Oh, I guess it would make sense if I used a color that actually appears. Isn't this so cool? So, uh, wait, what is, it's control Z, right? So then I can just write like, hello, heart. Isn't it so neat? I think it's cool. Um, but yeah, it's really awesome because I can just straight up uh, sit here and draw anything I want on my iPad. And then I can like zoom in, zoom out. Oh, it doesn't let me rotate, but that's fine. And it's Photoshop on my iPad. I've been so stoked about this. I've been wanting to show people for a while. Um, oh, it doesn't do the thing like it does on... It's okay. Uh, if you draw on the iPad, if you do like a double finger tap, it erases. What app is that? So I've been drawing little characters on Procreate. That's right. Oof. Let me get some of my messages out of here. So these are... I've been drawing my dog. My dog's name is Hero, and here's like photos I've been drawing of him lately. Procreate is amazing. I really like Procreate, but yeah, here's my doggo. He's super cute. I love my dog. I like sketched him while he was sleeping one day. It's harder to see that one. And then here's one of him like being super cute and happy. Yeah! I get bored. Here's him eating a slipper. This one is probably my least favorite, but he sits like this and I think it's the cutest thing ever. Oops, it just yeeted me. I'm gonna go back. Unyeet me. But yeah, um, I guess I could probably add like the Samsung, um, what do you call this? The Samsung laptop I use. So I have, my Samsung laptop is came in pink and it's like special edition cause they make them in blue actually. But here in Korea, they came in pink and I was like, I need this. I love it. I love it. I love, okay. So I had a problem where this lady at the airport broke my laptop, this laptop right here. And I came, when I got back to Korea, I went to the customer service and I told them and they just repaired it for free they were like yeah it's got a warranty they repaired the whole thing for free there's no damage anymore it's like brand new now and i'm so happy because i was really worried i was like no they don't make the pink laptops anymore but this is called the flex i'm gonna add it to the carousel and then this is the samsung or sorry the ipad pro so that's the flex and then the ipad pro Oh, it's on sale. That's nice. Yeah, they, the Crush Corner, they replaced the entire screen. So this entire top part, they just replaced the whole thing. They told me that they replaced it and I was like, and it was all free. And I was just like, oh my gosh, it's the best. Um, so is it like streaming your desktop? Yeah, it is. So it is pretty much streaming what is on my laptop right here. So this is Photoshop and then I bring it over here. So it is streaming it. So it's not perfect latency. You can see a little bit of um, pixelation sometimes. But I like, okay, so when it comes to drawing, sorry, my table is really thin. So it shakes a lot every time I move. Uh, when it comes to drawing, I love the iPad Pro. I had a Samsung tablet for drawing in the past and I really loved it too, but they don't make Samsung. I can actually draw on my laptop as well. So um, when it comes to drawing, I used to have a drawing monitor that I used to use, but I didn't like it because it didn't have a lot of functions that um, these monitors have or like the, the iPad and then this has. So like, for example, um, the functions like where it doesn't like you can put your wrist on it and it doesn't draw i also really like how you can like twist and turn it and zoom in and zoom out with your fingers things like that are really awesome they will just replace everything inside my laptop two weeks ago left the battery in the lcd but full organ transplant that's awesome 
Yeah, when I got this replaced, I asked them if they could put my Samsung 2 terabyte NMVE M.2 inside of this one and take out the other one. So now I just have a random little 500, uh, what is it, 500 uh, megabytes somewhere? I don't know where I put it, it might be in the box. But, um, so this has two terabytes in it now. Actually three terabytes, because I have a little one terabyte S micro SD card inside. So I have three terabytes of memory on this bad boy. It's ridiculous. 512 gigabytes. Yeah, so I went from 512 to uh, two terabytes. But yeah, I really like how easy it is to draw on these things. But that's just something I wanted to show you guys because uh, I recently got it all put together and I thought it was super duper cool and I was so excited to be like, guys, this is so cool. I can put Photoshop over here and then I can draw pictures of my dog. Because I don't know if you guys have ever used um, an iPad for Photoshop, but the Photoshop on the iPad is really horrible. Um, how can you set up a dual monitor with an iPad? Is there a special hardware to purchase or is it just casting? So it is an app called Luna Display. So there's an app you can download on both your iPad and then you also have to download it on your laptop or monitor or PC and it's called Luna Display. I think it's free. I'm pretty sure it's free because I haven't paid for it. So I'm thinking it's free and you can just do that and it kind of mirrors it. I've used other um, apps in the past, but this one is the best. I also really like to use it because uh, before, so right now I'm using the Samsung G9 monitor for my streaming PC, but before that, I would actually just use my um, laptop or my, what do you call this thing? I would use my laptop or my iPad as a monitor to watch my own stream. But wait, what's the app? Oh, the app is called Luna Display. So it pops up right here. Can't really see it, can you? I'll type it in here for you. That's how it's spelled. So check out that app. You can get it on the iPad, of course, and then you also get it on your computer. Works on Windows as well as, uh, what do you call it? Works on Windows and, um, and OS is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm going to erase this. Oh, my eraser tool is too small. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, sorry, I don't work for Amazon. I don't know how to fix your fire stick. But that is Photoshop and... Yeah. I've had a lot of fun talking today. I don't know what else I wanted to talk about. Um, I got my iPad here that I was talking about. I think I pretty much talked about everything. Oh, I didn't go over all of my microphone stuff. So my Mogami cables, let me move this out of the way. Let's switch. Oh, I forgot about my right here. Boop. Huh? So that's what that little red nub adapter is. Yeah, but you don't have to have the little red nub adapter. You can just use a USB-C to USB-C plug. So if you don't have the little red thing, just USB-C to USB-C adapter, plug it into this, plug it into that, and it works. Okay, I'm moving these over here. Whoop. And... You're new, hi, nice to meet you. And I wanna show you, <laughs> this is my microphone, but this cable in the back of it is the Mogami Gold cables that I use. Um, so this one right here is the Shure MV7. I also have the Shure SM7B, let me go grab that. I just dropped everything. So this is the Shure SM7B. 
Right now I'm using the Shure MV7, but I might swap them out sometime. I think it would be really cool to try out the different microphones periodically. Um, also, I have plugged into my... Uh, oh, I forgot I moved this camera, so I gotta push it back to here. There we go. So, in, on my Go XLR Mini... Hold on. Let me move this. On my Go XLR Mini, you can see this little piece right here. That is the Triton Audio Fet Head, and that pretty much allows my microphone to get a little more oomph, so it picks up my voice from further away. I don't like mics when they're right in front of my face. I like them. I like to have them like a little further away from my face. I don't like them in my camera view, personally. Um, there's also the Cloud Lifter, which I am actually using on the other uh, Go XLR I have right over here. And then I don't think I talked about the Elgato Cam Link. Where is my Elgato Cam Link? I have too many computer things everywhere. <laughs> Only true gamers eat their mics, that's true. I need to start eating my microphone. <laughs> I have this box of electronics. Let's go, let's, let's check out what's in here. All I know is that everything in here is something I really like. Oh, okay, so this, uh, the cloud lifter. So the cloud lifter is a, a uh, microphone kind of enhancer. My teammates get a combination of communication and ASMR. So this I also bought off Amazon. I use this for when I set up my streams in the kitchen. I will put my laptop in here and then just have my laptop on a tripod. This is my camera strap that, you, that I really, really like. This is the Rode uh, microphone that goes on top of a camera. Also super nice. You know what? I could probably add some of these to my carousel since since they're here. Um, this is an anchor hub. I have two anchor hubs. I have two of them. They're both very, very, very different, but I really like them a lot. So this anchor hub has, um, let me zoom in a little actually. Let's get more zoomed in. Um, this one has USB-C, sorry, USBs right here. USB 3.0, USB-C, USB-C, HDMI, a spot for micro SD, and then an SD card right here. I'm gonna add this real fast. Anchor Hub. This one I like because it's really small and super easy to pack. It also has HDMI, two USB-Cs, and then two USB-B 3.0. And that's this one and this one. And then, this is my favorite box of electronics. <laughs> right here, I've got, whoa, more Rode microphones. So these are the Rode Wireless Go 2. I'm adding these as well. And it comes with three of them. So there's the receiver and the two transmitters. It also comes with these little fluffy things. Oops. No, I dropped a fluffy thing. And you can just twist them on like that. And it's kind of a little nice windshield. Okay, sorry. I'm adding products to the carousel and also talking and then trying to keep up. I gotta go and like take chat one question at a time. Or not one question at a time, one comment at a time. You love the background music. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. They're too short for your desk. That makes sense. I mostly use these anchor hubs for my laptop. I actually don't use them for my desktop. Um, for a desk, I agree. It'd probably be way too short. I'm definitely not rich. Um, but, like I said, I'm good at saving money and spending money when I feel like it's appropriate. <laughs> I'm curious about how you manage to get all these tech items. Uh, does Amazon gift you? They don't. So, um, the Anchor tech items actually was a gift from Anchor, but they let me choose what I wanted, which was really awesome. So they let me pick exactly what I wanted. Um, 
These road things, this one's actually Mithliam's road, uh, what do you call it? Road microphone for his camera. He had this before we even started dating. So he had that for a long time. And then these road cameras I bought. Um, I actually, okay, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had a different wireless microphone, the Hollyland. I ended up selling the Hollyland and using the money from selling those to buy the Rode Wireless 2 instead. So they were about 200 and I think I sold them for about $200. And then I bought these when they were on a Black Friday sale for about 250. So I only had to pay $50 to upgrade essentially. It took a long time and a lot of like a lot of waiting for shipping and stuff, but yeah. That's how I was able to get these. As for this, my uh DJI um, my DJI Pocket 2, this, uh, my friend recommended to me. My friend was like, hey, if you live in Korea and you want to do vlogs in Korea or something, you need to buy this camera. Um, he recommended it to me and at the time I had returned a bunch of stuff to Amazon that I didn't want. And I think I had about $200 in gift card money. And when he recommended me this camera, I was like, okay, let's get this camera. So. I had to spend about $200 for it, which was a lot of money, <laughs> 200 bucks. But I, like I said, I had $200 Amazon gift card from returning a bunch of stuff. Anytime I buy something from Amazon and I return it, I just ask for like gift card money back. I want them for my desk, for my work and my laptop. Worst of, wait, worst of both worlds. Oh yeah. Some things I do get for free though, so what did I get as a gift? I'm trying to think of gifts I've gotten. Um, Not a lot recently, actually. I'm not a YouTuber. I am living in Korea. So I a lot of companies message me to give me free products to talk about their stuff on Amazon. Um, but I really don't like to do that because one, one, I feel like it's a little like, not genuine. I feel like it's not genuine because a lot of their products I personally wouldn't buy. So if it's a product that I would personally buy or that I do really want, then I will definitely be like, yeah, I would love to have, oh, that's one product that I got for free. Where is it? It's my, uh, let me find it. It's right over here. Let me grab it. So this is the loop deck. The loop deck, they gave this to me for free. And to be honest, I really wanted one of these for a long time. I was thinking of buying one of these instead of the stream deck at first. And they kind of just messaged me out of nowhere and was like, hey, um, do you want to try your loop deck? And I was like, yes, please, absolutely. If you send me one, I will cry. And then they sent me one for free. So I was really happy about this. This was completely free and I really love it. I actually just use it for my laptop. Uh, because I like to use it for Photoshop and I use Photoshop on my la laptop more than I use it on my desktop. I only do Photoshop on my desktop if it's gonna, if it's like extremely hard to render. So then you didn't cry then. I did. I did. Uh, hard work. I could be, like I said, I could be working harder and I could be doing more and I should be doing more. But I just haven't recently and I'm hoping that when I move away from Korea, I will be motivated to do so much more. I'm hoping. I think it'll change. I think I'll be a little more motivated. But, I mean, for people like Sir Chris who has been watching me for the past like four or five years that I've lived in Korea, I literally sold everything I ever owned when I moved to Korea. All I had was like, I only brought was like clothes and my computer and PlayStation, but I brought like two boxes with me on the airplane and I had like nothing. And Sir Chris has pretty much been there through all of it. And he's seen like how much my stuff has upgraded and how like uh, a lot of these things have upgraded how I've upgraded my setup so much over the years. Um, but yeah, most of the tech stuff I buy, um, I try and make sure 
I get the best deal out of it. So for example, uh, the Go XLR Mini I bought in South Korea because it was $200 cheaper in Korea than it was in the USA. Or not $200, sorry, whoa. It was like, um, wait, how much was it? I think in America it's like $250, but in Korea it was about, I think $150. So I bought it here. That's my philosophy. Well, thank you, Derek. How old are you? I am old. I'm pretty old. That's why my hair is white. <laughs> I recently bought um, that keyboard that you see on my thing. I recently bought this and it was like, I think it was $11 here in Korea, but I just thought it was so cute. And I like how it's like a little stand for your iPad Pro. I only bought it for aesthetic reasons. I literally do not need this at all. It's it's a completely like I just want it because it's cute type of purchase, not because not because I need it. But I am excited to have it though because I can Bluetooth it to my streaming computer and I can just use it over here and then I can use it over there and I can just swap it around, which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> She's old enough to see the rise and fall of World of Warcraft. Yep. I was seen once, that's how old I am. I guess my sister was seen too, and she is... 25 years old? But, uh... Holy moly, I feel like I've talked a lot. I haven't done a two hour stream, or haven't streamed in two hours in a long time. So, uh, say less! <laughs> You lived through the rise and fall of GameStop too, I sure did. I lived through the 2008 uh, housing crash. I, okay, so Sir Chris, I was reading more about it and it's not official yet. They're trying to acquire uh, Activision Blizzard um, and the stocks have gone up because they think that it will actually go through. But I guess it might take up to a year for them to fully acquire the purchase. But I think it would be awesome. Because what, they already bought out, uh, didn't they fully purchase, uh, what's the Bethesda? So didn't they already buy Bethesda? So you'll have Bethesda, Activision, Blizzard, 365, like that's insane. They on GitHub? I did not know that, that's awesome. But, um, and then when I was reading about it, it said that they were saying metaverse a lot. So I don't know what that means in regards to gaming and future games that might release, but it sounds like they might mash together a lot of things or at least like make a game, like think of like Super Smash Brothers, for example, make a game where they can take these different assets from different games. So like we could have a game with like Master Chief in it and then like um, Fallout 4, uh, Brotherhood of Steel characters, and then we could have like, I don't know, also randomly Tracer in it. So I think that would be really cool to have like this huge, they did, they kept mentioning Metaverse in their article. I didn't know they owned LinkedIn. Yeah, exactly. So it's super cool, I think. It's kind of like what Nintendo does, where they have all their IPs, like they have Pokemon, they have Zelda, they've got Mario, they've got Pikmin. Like Nintendo has so many just personal IPs, or personal IPs, yeah, just IPs that are theirs, which I think is pretty cool, because they have their own like little universe, and it's so cool when you see another one inside of the other universe, you know? Um, But it would be super cool to uh, to see Master Chief in in like Overwatch 2. That would be insane. Having to vert, convert your virtual currencies from one world to another, that would be crazy. I think they would probably have a unification of a virtual currency, but um, it sounds like there'll be multiple meta metaverses because they're not all gonna come together as one. So like Microsoft will have their own little metaverse and then Nintendo will have their own little universe and then sony will have their little final fantasy riot going on with god of war and stuff and then 
Facebook's gonna have their shenanigans with Instagram and, you know, things like that. Why aren't there already virtual exchange, uh, virtual currency exchanges? Out of curiosity, what's the number one thing you could advise a traveler going to Korea that would, that would be a must do for gamers? And Metaverse, I think that's the Facebook's new thing for VR. It is. But Metaverse, so, uh, technically Facebook, uh, copyrighted the name Meta and, well, Meta, and Metaverse is just their, like, VR thing. But a metaverse is technically like a, a collide, a world, a world will collide. Who knows? Um, but a number one thing you should do as a gamer if you come to Korea. So unfortunately, gaming in Korea, Korea is a little bit behind on trends and gaming used to be so big here. Esports was so big. Like people who won esports were like football players in America. They were super famous. Um, now, unfortunately, Korea is putting people in rehab for playing too many games. So now they think like video gaming is a bad thing, and people are going to rehab. And there aren't as many um, huge players coming out of Korea as there used to be. But if you are a League of Legends fans, there is a League of Legends PC cafe in Seoul. And I think that's a must go to. I think it's super cool. All of the chairs in that cafe are all um, secret labs chairs. They're all secret labs chairs. The computers all have like 3080s in them with like i9s. It's insane. And then you can get drinks at the League of Legends cafe that are like League of Legends themed. So you can get like, um, they have alcoholic drinks as well, but you can just get cute little coffees and stuff. That will be like a Timo, a Timo cappuccino or something like that. Super cute. If you like League of Legends, definitely go check out the League of Legends Cafe in Seoul. I think that's a number one for uh, gamers. Um, <laughs> yeah, right, Sir Chris. But uh, what else? I'm trying to think of what else would be really cool if you're a gamer. They're making a new Lego world here in Korea, which or Lego Land, sorry. Um, which is different than video gaming, but I'm just really stoked that there's going to be a Legoland here. It unfortunately opens after I move, but I kind of want to come back to Korea someday just to go to Legoland here. Um, cause it's the newest Legoland ever built. Um, but that's not very, that's not really gaming stuff. Let me think of more gaming stuff. I went to, when I first came to Korea ever, the first thing I did was go to a Starcraft, uh, esports game. And it was so much fun. Right now, all the esports is kind of shut down because of COVID, but whenever they open that up, I would definitely say find a game you really love and go to an esports um, competition. It is so cool. I think it's awesome. Um, other than that, it sucks. I can't think of a lot of video game stuff they have here anymore. I've been in Korea for about five years. It took me about... Uh, well, I'm not, I'm still not fluent in Korean, but I'm at an advanced level and it took me about two years to get it to an advanced level. <laughs> Before Legoland opened there, no, I can't wait to check out Legoland. They don't have a Gundam theme park. Unfortunately, all that kind of cool stuff is in Japan. Uh, they have, uh, in Japan, they have a giant Gundam, uh, in, what is it, uh, Pallet Town? Like, from Pokemon, they have a Pallet Town, and, uh, in Pallet Town, they have a giant, uh, Gundam. It's really cool. I went there once in Japan, and it was pretty cool. They also have a lot of Pokemon centers in Japan. They have one Pokemon center in Korea, but Koreans don't really like Pokemon a lot. They don't have the nostalgia for Pokemon like we do. Um... And the Pokemon Center here in Korea is not very cool, and it's also closed 99% of the time. They only open it up for new releases of, uh, like, when you buy packs and Pokemon cards. Like, when the new pack opens up. Pallet Town? The origin town for the future Gundam pilots. Yep. Pallet Town in... Uh, Pallet Town is kind of, like... It's in Tokyo, it's like right below. It's uh, right above Yokohama. Yokohama is also really cool. Japan has just so many cool places. Korea, um, if you like, uh, what's it called? 
If you like Squid Games, Korea built a giant statue of that uh, one girl that like covers her eyes and then kills people. The, the, the red light, green light little doll thingy. They built a giant statue of that here in South Korea, but it's not really cool. It's in the middle of a park and I think if it was in a place where it had like a better background, it would be really pretty, but it's kind of just there in the middle of a grass field. <laughs> But that's, it's pretty cool. I'm trying to think of anything else game related in Korea. I guess, okay, one place I really like is called Yongsan, which is kind of known as like the PC, uh, PC city. And you can buy any computer parts that you want there. It's super cool. They also have old retro video games there. And it's really cool. Uh, it doesn't look very nice. Like the place looks like it's a hundred years old and the buildings are falling apart. But it's super cool when you go inside because it's just all retro games and PCs and anything you can imagine that's game related is in there. You can even have a PC built. Like you can go to a random person and be like, these are the specs I want, build me a PC. And then they will. I don't know uh, which is going to happen first in Japan, Gundams or Evangelion. We are way overdue for Evangelion to happen. 10 years overdue. That's so true. Yeah, um, I used to play a game on the PC called Command & Conquer Red Alert 3. And it's funny because it's like Russia, the USA, and Japan are all fighting. And the Japanese uh, army has literal Gundams. They have like Gundams, like they have tanks. So they're like, they're like walking Gundams and then they transform into a tank and stuff. It's so cool. But I always played the Russians. They were awesome. I know. I love Command & Conquer Red Alert 3 though, it's so amazing. But anyways, I am going to end my stream now for today. Um, it is 3 p.m. I think I gotta go check the mail, cause the mail closes at 4 p.m. Yeah, the Russians and their bears, I think that was super funny. I miss Command & Conquer, yeah! Oh, what a great game. I think uh, EA owns it now and they haven't done anything with it, but I wish they would make another one. I don't care how cheesy that game is, it's so fun. Yeah. But anyways, thank you guys so much for joining my stream. I had a lot of fun talking about tech. I'll have to do this again uh, tomorrow maybe, and I hope you have a wonderful night, sleep well, sweet dreams, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. And thank you, you too, Derek. Goodbye, Giovanni, Derek, Chris. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>